changed in the years that had passed? Well, um, or did she have to change because of the years that had passed? What really had happened was she got pretty comfortable being what she really always wanted to be. You know, the last person in the last book that she takes out of out of danger is Jane. You know, she becomes Jane McKinnon, and you know, essentially puts the the uh, identities that she had created for herself and for her husband in the uh, hiding place in the cellar of her parents' old house, and goes on to become completely Jane McKinnon rather than than Jane Whitefield. And so, uh, you know, in a sense, she's she's uh, spends her life impersonating herself, and then she was was uh, pretty happy. Except she's got a few personal problems now that have to do largely with aging. I mean, she wanted children. She's been asking me for children for years. And uh, so that's her, that's her issue at the moment. Uh, is the old man, the neighbor to uh, her family home, still alive? Is he part of the story? Well, I haven't decided that. I mean, he isn't really part of the story, but I'm, I'm keeping him alive in my mind. You know, I, he's... Uh, that's Jake Reinert, who's kind of the old, the old gaffer who knows, <laughs> knows things. My sister, after I wrote the first of these, uh, accused me of, of putting my father in the book. <laughs> 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 you know, my father never, never uh, recognized, you know, but it isn't, it isn't actually my father, but there are some similarities in some ways. You know. 